Okay, this video will be very, very short. What we're gonna go over again is inside the dashboard itself, inside your website dashboard, how to set colors and fonts. And I'm gonna go dive into that just a little bit deeper than I So here we are inside the website that we just had started in the last video. And I'm gonna go ahead and stay with this theme of massage therapy and day spa. And um, you can see here that I've got this big red, bright red, you know, call to action button here. As I scroll down through the website, um, the, the main colors, the, the text is red, or the, the header text is red, the buttons are red, um, the footer is red. Let's go ahead and preview this in preview mode. So we can see here in preview, let me scroll up to the top, again, what it looks like in preview mode. This is what it looks like in, the, on a, would look like on a laptop or a desktop. This is how it's going to display on a mobile device. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit to get back to my site. And let me go ahead and clarify again, I'm gonna show you that again. To navigate back and forth between your working website where you are inside your website's dashboard um, and, and viewing it, you're gonna click on preview is up in the upper left-hand corner above the site itself, which you're working on. And now you're able to see the preview of the site, what it will look like. And then to get back to working and editing your website, you're gonna come over to the right-hand side and above the mobile display and you're gonna click Edit Site. So now I'm back in my dashboard and I decide that I don't want this red here. I want it to be a different color. So I wanna explain a little bit what we're able to do if I were to click into this element itself. So I'm now in, I'm going to, cl I'm, I'm clicking into this element and I, there is an option here to ch choose color. So I, and what that allows me to do is it allows me to edit the theme color. So let's say I want this to be black. That would give me that. This is the actual header header. So I can change that to black. I can change it to red. I can leave it as white. Or if I want to now, so that only is going to be for the header overlay. The image is going to stay the way it is. Um, I can do the same thing in any of the elements and we'll go into that more deeply in a little while. But I, my only choices, the reason I pointed this out, my only choices are red, black, or white based on my color combinations that were set through the theme itself, through the theme controls itself. So to change the color, my choices and my color combinations here, what I need to do is I need to come over to the right. I've got my website control panel, which is the one I'm working in right now, which allows me to make edits to the page that I'm working on. And then I've got my theme control panel which allows me to change the feel and the layout of the theme, but I'm also able to change the colors and the font style. So if I don't want red, let's say I want this to be a blue. I'm gonna click on a blue, and then what that will do, and then I, then I can choose any of these blues. Um, let's say I want more of a tealy look. Uh, is that teal? I don't know. What, or more of a smoky look. Um, I'm going to go with this one. And I'm also able, if you, if you have a code, a color code that you're already working with, that you have from a designer or anyone who created your logos or anything like that, you, you can copy and paste that code right here so that it will be consistent with everything. You're not stuck to just using the, you know, these eight or 10 boxes or however many there are here, um, you can have any color you want, make your site, your site be any color it want, you want it to be, just know that what it's gonna do then is it will default it back to um, the main color, black and white. So I've got blue as the main color here. 
Now I'm going to go back to my website and you can see how this changed, the, the buttons changed. It's no longer bright red. The text is blue. The overlay here is blue. And my choices here, I can go back to black. I can go white. I can go blue. And when I go blue, it changes the text. So the, the, the theme is very, very responsive and intelligent to make sure that you cannot accidentally make some kind of a change that hides the name of your website or that hides your text. Um, it's really hard to mess up here. Um, so I, but I want to make sure you understand how to use the color. So your only choices within the elements itself is to click on an element and then you can click through the color and say, I want to make it black. This is then cut, you know, so you can play with this. Well, again, we'll go into this more in depth. If I want to make it blue, if I want to make the black, the background white, and we'll leave it at white like it is. But if I want to change the overarching theme colors and what the, 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 the primary color is, typically it's going to be a single color code color, and then we're going to have black and white that we're working with. Same thing is going to be for fonts. So right now the fonts that are installed on this website are, I don't know how to say that. So this is this font right here. And you can, sh you can make the, the fonts bigger or smaller if you want. Um, I don't know that why you would want to do that, but you could if you wanted to be extra large sites. So let's say I want, you know, extra large. Um, and then let's see what happens when I preview that if it's extra large. So now the fonts become a lot bigger. It doesn't look so pretty because like it falls out of the boxes and doesn't look right. So you're going to want to go back to edit site and bring that back to a more normal size. But you can play it typical. I think it typically defaults to probably medium. Um, but if you want to change the font completely, maybe you like this look right here a little bit better. So you can play with choosing different fonts to fit your size, your style, uh, cabin, caveat, if you want something along those lines. Let's, uh, let's go Cinsel. I kind of like the way that looks. I don't like the way that is so big. So let's, let's go with dancing script. Uh, no, don't like that either. Anyway, so Helsinki. Um, so you can, you know, you can just, what it does then is it changes the font. I'm going to leave it at Carla. Lato is one that's really, really common, but I like Carla. So I'm going to leave it at Carla for right now. And that's all there is to it to change the colors and the fonts. If I want to go back to the red, which I think I might do here. No, I'm going to leave it at the blue. Um, so that's how you change and work with colors. And in our next video, we'll actually start going into making edits to the website itself and working on the home page.